Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Nekopara Volume 4. We are back now. We have the aftermath of the dinner. So let's see where it goes. So, yeah, Azuki ate too much. <laughs> oh. I, I love how she's like, cat girls are amazing, but technically she's a cat girl as well. So, weird. Anyway, let's see what. Uh, yeah, let's just hit the other play. Yeah, it, it weighs her down. Understandable. <laughs> and she's like, Yes, I've eaten enough. And Chikuru is like, Holy smokes, I ate so much. I managed to finish off mine too, but I'm sure for the amount coconut ate was especially sight to behold. Okay, so they're going now to go. Oh, yeah, they're happy. If <laughs> I go, she goes too. Yeah. Silky smooth skin, nice. Yeah. That sounds excellent, huh? So Rottenboro is actually the I, the word for outside bath, if I remember correctly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We have to get naked outside. Too lewd. Too lewd. Ah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Which makes kind of sense that they're that way. Girls are happy, it's good. Uh, I'm gonna lay down for a bit, I'm bursting at the seams. Even if I tagged along, a big bath is going to have men and women separate. And you see them be like, oh yeah. Well, that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. Uh, you'd be taking a reactive bath with so many people, though. Don't mind me, just go enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Cinnamon's like, oh, this sounds. Eh. <laughs> Oh. It's really, it's a terrible. I'm pretty sure I do so. She's like, yes, this is the lewd things I want. Again. <laughs> and she goes like, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Uh, she's just like, yes, perfect. Everyone leaves the room. I use the seat cushion as a pillow and light spread eagle at the, the time you met. Yes, spread eagle, you know. Now all by myself, so I have to cross my mind. Like, how do I get a flavor that'll make my dad recognize my skills? Ne I am neither a match for my mentor nor my dad's distinct flavors. Which is kind of sad, but I think he feels... He's gonna figure it out at some point. Flying door opens with a loud rustle. Considering everyone were just went to bed, too early for anyone to come back. We one of them forgot something. Oh, Asuki. I sit up. No, I'll, I'll go soon. But what's up? Forgot something, Asuki? Ah, oh, the sun cares. The sun cares. Yeah, that is true, huh? Crap, did I really look like that? Uh, yeah. 
でもないような気がしてな。Yeah, kind of. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Convenience store sweets earlier today. Oh, could you get that? Okay, get on. Yeah, they sold they're sold at convenience stores, free to consume, freely consumable at any time at, at any place. I've been making Western sweets to bring smiles to everyone's face, but I'm starting to think the closest thing to that goal are those sweets. Low price point, viable at any time, at any place across the country, and long shelf life to boot. I'm trying to bring smiles to even more people's faces. So, my worry is, if that's the case, what's the point in make me baking Western sweets? <laughs> and she's just looking at him like, you're stupid, man. Yeah. Are you concerned about so, the people who are eating the food are eating the Okay. I'm trying my best to make things as delicious as I can, but when I compare it to other stuff. She's right, yeah. Yeah, I think it's different, alright. <laughs> Stop thinking about things! That's how I feel. I, I, I agree with Cashew. There is some times that, but I agree with Azuki as well. Stop thinking about things. Bring smiles to an even greater audience. True. That's not what I meant. Yeah. All sorts of types. Yeah. You're adorable, Azuki. Is that so? That's good if that's the case. True. That's what he's working towards, yeah. Yeah, there was one last night right before we closed. They said it was their marriage anniversary, but they were getting home late due to overtime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. I've never been married, so I'm not an expert myself, but most likely, yeah. If she puts it that way, it's true. Hmm? There was significance because he came all the way out to La Soleil to buy a cake. Once you put it that way, I see your point. It's probably nothing I should have been worrying about. He's like, yeah, smug smiling like, yeah, I knew it. I mean, in my mind, I know it's nothing, but... Yeah, maybe it's been a while since I got entranced like that badly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this sister is great, honestly. She went through all that, but that was my problem too. No, if I said that, she probably wouldn't listen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, is that a fact? I always thought I was pretty normal myself. Nevertheless, thank you. I'm going to go to the hot spring. Yes, What? Do you have to worry again? But going to the vet, I know you're a cat girl. Or... And then she's trying to guilt trip him. No. Okay, then let's go on together. I gotta say, it's pretty rare for you to propose this kind of idea. Just the back. Yeah, right. Uh, you just surprised me. I quickly get my bath time 
toiletries together before opening the sliding door. Hey, coconut. Nuts. Nuts. <laughs> I, I love how she always is like, nuts. <laughs> Understandable. So if we go how the story is already kind of developing, uh, see, developing, then we had first technically the volume two one girl, so Chocolat and Vanilla, kind of trying to ease Cat Two's mind. Now we have volume two's girls trying to ease his mind. Then as soon as probably get into the next problem, it should be Cinnamon and Maple since they were volume three, but it's going to be interesting. Uh, I see. Thank you for being so concerned, Coconut. But that's how it feels like the story is kind of developing. No, it's no biggie. <laughs> And she's like, you want to come? And she's like, yeah? I, I'm allowed. Of course you can. Granted, I don't think. Uh, do you think is it more spacious? Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. Dead serious. Wow. That's great. <laughs> and she's like, yay. Late at night, I've been laying here with my eyes open wide awake. It's not like the futons are uncomfortable, though. Shigure and the cat girls seem to be resting well. And they're just enjoying the time, you know. I, I love... It's just great. Maple... Uh, she's she's dreaming something interesting. <laughs> I gotta imagine that God would be so weird for the voice actress to be like, yeah. But I respect them for actually hearing some of that. Yeah, I don't think I can get to sleep. I exit the room carefully not to make any sound on the way out. The inn has its lamps on at night, but once I leave the area, I'm greeted by a rule of darkness. Depending on the spot, it's dark enough that I can't even tell where it is I'm standing. Hot spring district is usually bustling with tourists during the day, but in the wee hours of the night, it has a completely different atmosphere. I peer down from the bridge. Darkness. All I can hear is the sound of the running river. I can feel, feel I can make out the moon's reflection on the water surface. No way, is that just a street lamp? I peer deeper below the bridge to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! I love that face. This is not the face of mercy I want to see. I suddenly get tackled and nearly fall into the water below. Azuki, you almost made me fall in. No, why in the world would I ever do that? I woke up in the middle of the night. I was just taking a little walk. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I guess what I was doing was sort of misleading. If you're that worried, want to join me for my walk? Yeah, it seems like you have to, girl. Poor girl. Yeah. Aren't you cold, Asuki? <laughs> She's like, why are you here? Just like I told you before, I just happened to wake up. 
No, well, I'd be lying if I say I didn't. I haven't got one or two words on their mind, you know? Yeah. yeah, you know. So, why did you get out so cute? Is it because I got off? <laughs> that face is just like so great. Like, you idiot, you caused something again, huh? Yeah. Apparently, Shuguru was sleep shouting for me after I left the room. So, you went out of your way to come looking for me? True, actually. Sorry, I just needed to clear my head. No, no, I'm good on that front now. Uh, it's just been I've been thinking back on everything up till now, and I'm almost positive there's something I'm still lacking. I like how she's like slowly getting. After I graduated college, I studied abroad in France, graduating and taking over the family business, with other with no other options on the table wasn't satisfactory to me. And Elise, I want to broaden my horizon. Well, I don't want you to get the wrong opinion. The Manajuki. Japanese style sweets. God, I hate them. No, I don't hate them, yeah. I know that. Sure. On the Paris Street corner is where I first encountered my mentor's cake. In my mentor's shop, I ate those impressively delicious Western style sweets and saw the smiles of the patrons there. I thought to myself th that this is. This was exactly what I was in search of. Really enough that I kind of stumbled there. Minazuki. Minazuki shop doesn't have seating for patrons. The majority of Japanese sweets they make are sold in department stores after all. I played with my mentor to take me as their apprentice and learn the ways of Western confectionaries from them. When my study abroad was nearing an end, my mentor told me, I've already taught you everything. Although I personally don't feel that I've matched my mentor's distinct flavor in the slightest. The last thing they told me was that all I needed to do was work on completing what I've learned on my own. This isn't a factory where everything needs to be exact the same. Without any personal flair, there's no point in a person even making it. That's what I was told. True wise words. I planned on running my own shop once I got back to Japan, which is why I made the request to my mentor. I request that I be allowed to use the name, and they gladly oblige. Yeah. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Uh, that's how the name of the shop became La Soleil in French. Sounds a bit odd, but... Me neither, Azuki. Oh, right. The Soleil by itself means the sun, and the sun is what they call a masculine noun, so it's normally written as Le Soleil. Yeah? But my mentor is female, apparently she's tacked on the la reserved for feminine nouns, so there instead. There instead. Actually an interesting question. There's apparently the, an origin behind the name, but she never gave me a clear answer to it. Seems like something she wants to keep private. She lives by herself now, but she once had a husband and a son. So I assume it has something to do with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, that's my logic. I was taught many things by, by the way, of my mentor. Really, all sorts of things. When it came to Western Swedes, I had pride, I had confidence, and yet I was shown up by the whipped cream my father threw together, despite him never so much as mentioning Western Swedes before. Yeah, compared to anything I'd make, the flavor was more clear and distinct, closer to what I'd consider ideal. That's right. I guess in the end, my dad and my mentor are the real deal, and I'm just a phony trying to mimic them. You heard my dad say it, that my cooking has no core. What did he mean by core, I wonder? 
Yeah, she is stumped as well. And proving over the fact brought me to say that convenience store sweets just might be better. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's what I think. I keep thinking to myself, how can I make my sweets even better? Okay, she's good motivated. Thank you. Speaking my mind has taken a load off, but I think it's time we head back. <laughs> it sure does make me want to take another bath. Okay, okay, I got it, I swear. She's just like, you don't, we don't want to see you murder yourself, so don't. Quite a lot for breakfast too, I see sweats. Hey, I was hungry. She is hungry a lot. But with that, since we have a good position to be here, we're going to stop for this episode and move on next time. So, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.